Hello friends, welcome to this video session. In this video, we will study the composition and properties of matter. As we look at our surroundings, what do you see? Yes, we see a large variety of things around us which have different shapes, sizes and textures. Any object that has a mass and occupies some space, volume, is called a matter. Early Indian philosophers classified matter in the form of five basic elements which we know as Panchatattva. These are the five elements, air, earth, fire, water and sky. According to them, everything, living or non-living, was made up of these five basic elements. Philosophers of the time have classified matter in a similar way. Modern scientists have evolved two types of classification of matter based on their physical properties and chemical nature. Let us earn knowledge about matter based on physical properties in this video. Friends, are substances continuous or are they made of particles? Let's find this out by an activity. Take a beaker of 100 ml. Fill this beaker in half with water and mark it at the water level. Now, dissolve a teaspoon sugar with the help of a glass rod. What do you see? Does the water level change? No. How did this happen? What happened to the sugar dissolved in the water? When we dissolve sugar in water, the particles of sugar get into the spaces between the particles of water. From this activity, we can conclude that matter is made of particles. We have come to know that matter is made of particles. But how small are these particles? Let us try to find this out by an activity. Dissolve 5 drops of ink in 100 ml of water. Take out about 10 ml of this solution and mix it in 90 ml of water. Similarly, keep this solution diluted for 5 to 8 times. What do you see? Is the water still colored? The color of the solution becomes lighter each time it is diluted. Still, the water seems colored. This experiment shows that just a few drops of ink can color a large volume of water, about a thousand ml. From this, we can conclude that there will be many microscopic particles in each drop. These particles divide into smaller and smaller particles. Ultimately, in a situation, it cannot be divided into particles and small parts. By this activity, we can say that the particles of matter are very small. Let us now learn about the characteristic properties of these particles of matter. In activities 1 and 2, we saw how the sugar and ink particles were evenly distributed in water. This is possible because particles of one matter are incorporated into the spaces of particles of another matter. It shows that there is enough space between particles of matter. Friends, are particles of any substance immobile or continuously moving? Let us know the answer through an activity. Take a beaker filled with water. Put two spoons of tea leaves in this beaker 
and keep it aside. What do you see after a few hours? We can see that the color of water is changing after some time. Now, if you heat this beaker, what do you see? You can see that on heating the beaker, the color of the tea dissolves more rapidly in water. From this activity, we can conclude that the particles of matter get intermixed with each other on their own. This is due to the inclusion of particles in the space. In other words, we can say that particles of matter are continuously moving. That is, they have kinetic energy. And this energy increases as the temperature increases. This intermixing of particles of two different types of matter on their own is called diffusion. Let us now discuss the last characteristic feature of particles. We will also try to understand it through an activity. Take a copper wire, a piece of brick and a rope. Try to make them brittle by hammering, cutting or pulling them. Was it easy? No. But why? Because a force acts between the particles of matter. This force holds the particles together. In other words, particles of matter attract each other. Do all three objects require the same force to break them? No, not at all. This is because the strength of the attraction force between the particles of matter varies in each matter. So friends, hope that now you have got a good understanding of the composition and properties of matter. In the next video, we will study the states of matter.